hello guys um, <clears throat> in this video we're going to demonstrate how to formulate linear programming problems from a row questions a question and um, of course uh, as we have mentioned um, earlier a linear programming problem linear programming model comprises of um, three different distinct parts that work together one the objective function the second one is a set of structural constraints and of course the non-negativity constraints so we're going to see how to build a model from a raw question so this is a question a situation where a, a manufacturer has to makes two different models of a particular product a and b which yield you you need profits of uh, 2500 and 4500 naira respectively each type of radio requires an amount of time for manufacturing of components parts and for assembly one unit of model a requires five hours of manufacturing and six hours for assembly one unit of model b requires four hours for manufacturing and 10 hours for assembly for the coming week that's the week under consideration the company has 400 hours of manufacturing time and 600 hours for assembly time the minimum production requirements are 20 units of model a and 10 units of model p then the requirement is to formulate the problem as a linear programming model all right <coughs> solution So the first thing we're going to do is to itemize all the things that are going to all the variables here that will be bearing on the model everything here that will we need to formulate the model so we're going to bring them out one after the other the first thing is because a linear programming problem as mentioned earlier has three district distinct parts the first thing is to look out for what you are looking for are you maximizing or minimizing that will now make up the objective uh, function so if we look at the first statement and the second you would have realized that the radio is talking about profit the manufacturer is look, is interested in the unit profit which means we are maximizing and all that so the first thing is how many products how many models do you have we have model a and b so we can call this um, 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 A and B we can this is model A then okay we're going to also have the availability at to know what the constraint requirements are all right so we have um the fourth thing is say uh, the unit profit one is the unit profit unit profit for a is to 2500 naira we'll bring it out 2500 naira then for B, it is a 4,500 Naira. Then that is going to help us build our objective function, which we're going to enlarge in no distant time. Then the next thing will be what and what will now be part of what the structural constraints. We look at from this statement downwards. We can see that for the models of the radio to be manufactured, we have two major different activities which is the manufacturing and the assembly so these are major activities that must take place before the radio, man radio manufacturing will be completed so one or two sorry is manufacturing The next one is assembly. Ok, 
Okay. Now, from this statement, one unit of Model A requires five hours for manufacturing and six hours for assembly. So for Model A, we will require five hours for manufacturing, which is five hours, and six hours for assembly. Six hours. And one unit of Model B requires four hours for manufacturing and ten hours for assembly. Four hours for manufacturing and ten hours for assembly. Then again, for the coming week, the company has 400 hours of manufacturing time, which means the capacity, the construct capacity is for manufacturing is 400 hours and 600 hours for assembly, 600 hours. Okay. <clears throat> Any other thing? Yeah. The minimum production requirements are 20 units for model A and 10 units for model B. So it means we have another thing that will be part of the structural constraint, which is a uh, production requirements. Requirements. So for model for, for twenty model, for model A you have twenty units. What is twenty units here? And for model and ten units for model B. And ten units for model B. Okay, let us answer this question. So now we have been able to itemize everything that we need to, you know, that will bear on the model that will be used to build the model proper. So the next thing is that we're going to now build the model proper, and uh, we we'll now clearly show the three distinct parts of uh, a linear programming problem. So we we'll now clean up the hair, this press the question here, and quickly use it to produce the model proper. Now, we have seen from here that it's a maximization case. Of course, operations research is about optimization, which means it's either we are maximizing or we are minimizing, basically. So, from the unit profit, it's clear that we will be maximizing. So, and it is profit. So, first thing here will be to maximize profit, which is 2500, which is the coefficient of this model A, and 4500, which is the coefficient of model B. We simply translate to if a model A is produced, the profit per unit will be 2,500 and if a model B is produced, the profit will be 4,500 Naira per unit. So, we we'll have 2,500 A plus 4,500 B. So, this is our objective function. Is our objective function then for us to be able to achieve this? It will be subject to this ST stands for subject to our ability to man maneuver and manipulate the structural constraints, which is made up of everything we see here. Now, <clears throat> the first one is about manufacturing, and the second one is about assembly, and the third one is on the production requirement. Now for manufacturing, it is five units, five hours of uh, um, the manufacturing time will go into the production of A, and four hours of manufacturing time will go into the production of uh, um, model B, 
and the capacity constraint is 400 eh, hours so it will go by 5a plus 4b will be less than or equal to 400 less than or equal to 400 it means that the total time that you know that should should be spent in the manufacturing session will be will, will not be more than 400 that is five hours will go into a and four hours will go into b now this is called input output eh, ratio it simply means that before you produce a unit of a you must spend five hours in manufacturing before you produce one model of eh, b you must spend four hours and the total capacity the total hours available for manufacturing is 400 then for assembly we have 6a plus 10b must be less than or equal to 600 so was equal to less than 600 so the same explanation goes to this before we produce the unit of uh, a you must spend six hours in assembly and before you produce this, the production the, the model of uh, b you must spend 10 hours in assembly unit so the next is our production requirement of course it is that production requirement minimum production requirement is a uh, is a uh, 20 for unit a and 10 for unit uh, b so for a we're going to have that a would be greater than or equal to 20 because it says minimum production requirement so you, the model will not allow will not accept the production of anything less than a uh, 20 units and, and will not accept anything less than a production of a 10 units so b be less than a or equal to 10 now we are done with our objective function and the set of structural constraints so from here This is our set of a uh, structural constraints. Constraints. Yeah, it's our objective function. Function. This is what we want to achieve. Then the last one, which is the third segment, the third part of the linear programming problem, is a non-negativity constraint, which simply states that the productions are not allowed to assume negative values. And the variables here, the variables are A and B, which means that the A B, which are the decision variables, are not allowed to assume zero values. This is our non negativity constraint. So, yeah, we have been able to show how to build a linear programming. Uh, model from a raw question and um, it has three different parts this is objective function this is a set of a set of structural constraints and of course this is our set of uh, this is our non negativity constraints i hope this will have find this uh, um, video interesting and it's helpful thank you i'll see you in our next video